Hi and happy Friday. Just slipping on here before I do the school drop off this morning. Um, I still, so basically you probably would have seen in the last clip that I've, um, I was deciding not to go VAT registered just yet and try and hold off a bit. So I turned a lot of my listings off on Etsy and on Shopify. Um, but last night I had another thing and I just thought the plan is to eventually make the amount of money to be able to go VAT registered. So what's the difference in me doing it now or just before Christmas? So I've decided just to go VAT registered because yesterday, I don't know if I said in the last clip, but I turned off my Facebook ads and I like turned loads of my listings off. And then I just had a think and thought, but I do actually want to go for it. So probably should. Um, it's just so scary, like I've said a million times in this video. So what I've done is I've put all my DIY stuff on and all, all my um, supplies for some catchers. But I've still got the d dream catchers and things turned off. And my macrame and my moon catchers and all them pre-made items. Even some catchers, I've turned them off. Um, because I just want to really perfect this DIY kits, the Suncatcher DIY kits. I really want to perfect them. I really want to get better at the Facebook ads and do... I'm not sure what happened in that last clip, but I've just had a huge delivery of prisms. So I've got loads of um, these back in stock. Like this isn't even all of them. There's absolutely loads, like boxes and boxes and boxes of them. And then loads of prisms down here. It isn't, look how messy it is. Like literally, this is my new desk by the way. Everything is just a bit of cha a bit chaotic at the minute. I've just unboxed three boxes of prisms. I've got another box here. There, sorry, I'm all over the show again. My house looks really is upside down, so I don't care. I'm still gonna film. <laughs> then I've got like boxes and boxes and boxes in here that have just come. I don't even know where I'm gonna fit all these prisms. <laughs> But yeah, just unboxing them. Um, I'm trying to fit them in. And then I think I'm going to walk to my friend's. Um, I've just made her a little dream catcher for one of her friends who's just had a kid. A baby. So I'm going to go to her house and give her this. Um, it's like a little teal dream catcher. It's not really one that I do anymore. You probably would have seen that I've just made this. Yeah, then I'm going to come back and then I am going to start making DIY kits um, and then I can really, and then I think tomorrow I'm packing up quite a, couple, a few large orders for so them three large dream catchers. Now the um, dip dyes will be dry. Let me see. Oh, they're still a bit wet. By tomorrow they should be dry. And then I can send them two off. Put the feathers on and send them off. how crazy busy I have been this weekend trying to keep up with all the orders. I've still got like wall hanging orders that to get out um, since I stopped them and I've literally been working well last week like during the week I was working like 7am I was getting up work straight away take Loki to school come back work and then picking him up he's been going to after school club and then when he goes to bed work again till about 10 um, so I, was, I did that nearly every day last week and then this weekend it's just been get up, work <laughs> and then Jonathan went out on Saturday so then we went out for a few hours and then when Loki went to bed, work 
and then this morning, Sunday morning, get up, work, and then I worked till we went to, because I promised him we could go to cinema, and then we went to cinema, his dad was here today. Um, and then we went to the cinema, and then when I came back, work, I've been working, so, and now I'm going to literally tidy up the mess of this house, because it is pretty bad. There's just mess everywhere, and I've got Sam coming tomorrow to help me pack orders. I've got, I don't even know how many orders I've got, they're all on that table back there. They're just the packing slips. Um... So yeah, I've got lots of orders to get out tomorrow. Thankfully, I've got Sam to keep me sane. Um, yeah, like this... And what I wanted to say really was, it's just shown me that I couldn't have carried on with the pre-made orders and the wall hanging orders. Like, as well as this DIY kit, because the DIY kits are selling so crazy, I just don't have any time. Um, and I and I, I, wa I want to do that. I can't. You can't do everything. If that makes sense. And it, I'm 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 glad I've made the, I made the decision basically at this moment in time. I was watching a few vlogs over the weekend, and there was a lot of people saying like they're in the summer slump, which I normally get. More sellers get it, and I, I feel like I'm at Christmas. It is. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's July, and I feel like. The, the way that I'm selling, I think it's like, it's like Christmas. I don't know. I need to be prepared for when it does come to November because I can't actually believe how much I'm selling um, and how successful my shop is at the minute. I just feel like I've worked... Oh, I just feel like every moment has been working towards this kind of like breakthrough. But then you have loads of breakthroughs in business and this will probably... Not, one day in the future I'll have other breakthroughs. But this is really... Not, real breakthrough with the Facebook ads um, and I've got amazing ideas for like new kits as well like and that's another reason why I'm so glad I turned off the pre-made all hangings because I'm going to show you, give you a little preview of what I'm going to do <laughs> so basically I got all these sticks that I bought from a seller um, and they were a really good price but I was going to get them for the um, driftwood kit but as you can see they're too skinny so I put them away, and I, but I had bought quite a few, by accident actually, and then I put them away and I thought they would be really good for, like a kind of, I'm thinking wire, and like a triangle, and then like maybe a ball in the middle of a circle, I thought that would be quite cool, and then I thought, oh no, because I did a custom order for a customer, few years ago now it, it was stunning, it, it was a triangle and then inside it had like a star so I'm thinking I could either do that or I could just do a star so I can't even show you because so basically <laughs> you can make a star if you finish these if you finish these into triangles either size you can make a star like a pentagram star pentagram star um, and I've got lots of pentagram stars Pentagram, I can say it, Pentagram's charms as well. So I'm thinking that would be a really cool kit to do next. But I was going to do like quite a simple kit next. But that might have to be the next one because I, when I've come to the end of making these pre made wall hangings and I've got some time, I am going to give myself some time to have a day to make a new thing, film, because that is what I love, film it. Oh, just take the pictures. I just cannot wait. But I need to tie it in with the sunshine because we've not had sunshine here for a while now. It's been raining for a few weeks. So I need to tie it in with that. Anyway, I don't know why I came in on here on a Sunday because normally I don't do that. Um, but I just wanted to like talk to you like because it's uh, just been so crazy busy. I just wanted to kind of get out like how much I'm actually working at the minute and it's not good. Like working that much really, getting up at seven, not even having a minute to like chill in the morning. Not even have a minute to like chill at night. It's it's not good. It's best in my head. I'm not gonna lie. Working this much, um, I need a break. I really need a break. Uh, the good thing about it is I'm not. I can't really eat, eat, go out to eat or um, drink anything at the minute um, because my stomach's been really bad. Uh, so the past two weeks I've been like kind of healing that. So it's been a bit boring. But anyway, I'm going to go because I can hear footsteps. I don't want anyone to come in here and watch me filming. Bye. <laughs>
Monday. I've just had Sam here and we have got so many orders out. But what that means is I've just gone into the little stock room we've got a little in my garage and we've literally got hardly any kits left in there. So I am frantically restocking the kits and I'm going to email out to everybody when they're back in stock because I bet a lot of people are probably going onto the website today thinking where are the kits because there's only a few on there still. Um, and I've just finished a few pre-made orders out but other than I'll give myself like one pre-made order a day and then after that it's just I'm just making kits, making kits, making kits so then I've got enough stock on the website and then next week I've got like a little uh, school fair that I'm doing, my friend's school fair. So <laughs> busy, busy, busy and what else am I doing? Um, today, I think that's it. Oh, I've just done another, oh, that's another thing. I've just done another order like for prisms and things. Um, and my hoop supplier has sent me that my order, which wasn't actually due to come to, for like another month because it was a really large order. I think it was 1400 hoops that I'd ordered and they sent me 400. And so I was like, whoa, that, that box is way too small for 1400 hoops. So I've counted them all, put them all out on the floor and it is 400 and then I've looked, but my, pre, my previous order was 400, but I've had that order. So they've sent me my old order again, rather than sending me the 1400, which is what I am owed. So I'm guessing they're just gonna take off the amount that I've got um, from that. I've been frantically messaging them like, please, <laughs> please make sure you understand that you've sent me way less than, I've, it's like literally a third of my order, less than a third of my order. See, that's been a bit annoying. I just um, hope that they will send me the rest because I will be a bit upset if they don't. Gucci is set for life. Thank you, Mr. Warden. You're helping me out so much. I really appreciate you. Oh, that's perfect. That was my goal. I really wanted to be helpful. So this is working out so well. All right, but I'm going to go store these at home now, Mr. Warden. Thank you so much. But wait, how am I supposed to get back, Mr. Warden? Oh, don't worry, Cloudy. Here you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Trying to get myself in the camera. Hello and happy, what day is it? Thursday, um, my days are all over the show because the school's been on strike this week so Loki wasn't at school yesterday and he's not at school tomorrow. So I'm always like, what day is it? <laughs> anyway, so I thought I'd show you the process of me doing the kits, so. I've literally just laid out all my kit now, all the materials that I think I'm going to use. Anyway, I'll show you. This is basically what I'm making. I'm quite excited about this one because when I get an idea that's a little bit different than what my usual stuff, because when I just keep using just the shape of um, a circle all the time and they're always the same kind of style, if that makes sense, I just think, oh, people are eventually going to get bored of that. Um, so do I, to be honest. So I bought these sticks. In the, I think I said in my last vlog they weren't quite right. So I am going to be making these pentagram shapes for as kits. So yeah, I'm going to start that now. Um, I am going to get that filmed. And then I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually... Maybe I'll actually edit it today and get it on this weekend, maybe tomorrow. That's probably a good idea because I've got this huge piece that I'm making at the minute, this huge back rear wall hanging. Now this is the potentially the last one of these I'll ever make um, because obviously I turned off my pre-made wall hangings and this is the last macrame wall hanging. Um, on my pre-made order list so I feel I don't know I feel a bit weird about it like is it gonna am I gonna keep it, it short I mean obviously if things don't go amazingly with the DIY kits I'm gonna have to start doing the, these again but if things go the way I want them to this will be the last like macrame wall hanging that I make for a customer probably so it's kind of 
I don't know, strange to me. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing, maybe I might even do tutorials of macrame in the future. I mean, you don't know what's gonna happen, do you? But it just feels like this, for the foreseeable future, this is the last one I'm gonna be making. So yeah, I was just thinking about that while I was making it, like, this is the last one. And then after this, I've got one more of the Saturn ones, um, so it's like a sun catcher one. One more of them, and then I don't have any more pre-mades to make. Um, which is good, actually, because I've just had a phone call from the hospital. I missed it. I think it's for my gallbladder removal. So I'm going to need, like, a few days off for that. And if it's just the pre-made pre DIY kits that are on my website, that's really good because that means that I'll be able to, like, do things while I'm sat down and I don't know basically you never know what's gonna happen when you have an operation I've never had an operation in my life been very lucky I've never been in hospital actually no I've had oh yeah I had a third degree tear when I had my son so that kind of is something in it it's not an operation though is it I don't know it was bad but um yeah this feels different um anyway so I'm gonna get into making this and I'll see you guys later So I've just finished that uh, dream catcher in there and also finished the um, tutorial. So this is what it turned out like. Perfect for all the witches out there. Yeah, so I'm happy with how that turned out. Ooh. I just wish there was a bit of sun so I could like show it with um, all the sparkles and things. Anyway, I need to turn you around because oh, the light is terrible. Ooh, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, I've just done that tutorial and now I am just gonna pack the huge dream catch that you would have seen me putting the feathers on just a minute ago. And like I said, that's the last one that I'm probably gonna be making for a long time. After that, I've just got one more pre-made order and then that's it. Which I'm a little bit worried about now because this is what us self-employed, handmade sellers do. So basically, at the end of June, my three for two on kits finish. You know where you can get by two and get one three. Um... And since then, it's been quite quiet, my shop, so I've been really worried. So I've just put another deal on my email list. So if you're not signed up to my email list, please do, because there are always offers that I do through my email list. So please sign up to my email list. Um, and I was like, oh, nobody's taking that offer. And then all of a sudden I got a, I got a sale on my website, which was for... Laura, so thank you, Laura. Um, I'm not obviously I won't say a second name. Who's just done an order through my email list? I was like, oh, it's, thankfully people are still buying from me. Um, obviously it's really worrying because I've turned off a lot of my listings, and I just keep thinking like, what if people don't? What if this doesn't keep working? Oh, it's just so hard. Like when you're changing your business so much, it's just really, it's just really worrying basically. But this is going to work. I'm going to be all right. Two quiet, I say two quiet days, but so I've been, I was making like 300, sometimes more than 300 a day from my website. Cause I kind of focus on my website now more than Etsy. Um, when I've got more time in the future, I'm going to focus more on Etsy as well. But the minute I'm just focusing on the website because I've still been doing pre-made orders. So yesterday I did like 177 and today, Day I've done 141, so I'm like I'm freaking out, and I'm still doing okay numbers. It I need to keep reminding myself that it's July and it's not November. Like and I need to keep thinking to myself if I'm doing this well now, what am I going to be doing in November? So I need to chill out. Like I'm just telling myself now to chill out. Um, but if you are any kind of maker. Even like, oh, Sam, she's got the bug now, Sam. And she's exactly the same. Anyway, my battery is going to go, so I'm going to have to turn this off. And I'll see you later on.